Hi, Halu the Clown here, uh, halu.ca, halu2000 uh, on YouTube. Uh, sorry for the lighting, I hope it's going to work okay. We don't have a professional studio or anything, so we're just doing this. My daughter, I um, want to thank my daughter Hope for uh, doing the videotaping. Uh, I've been doing, did a geo uh, design a little while ago. Um, put it out there a little bit embarrassed because I thought it was new. Um, but obviously, I've been around a lot, uh, quite a while. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you another one though. Um, playing around with the geos, uh, it's gonna take a 16-inch uh, geo blossom, and we're gonna use a 350 green lime green as well, and a red. So we're gonna start with the with the blossom. Um, we're gonna make a design here a little bit different. I try to blow it up. Um, so the farthest part is bitten blown up first. I'm going to squeeze it because I want cheeks on this. We're going to do a Ninja Turtle. So I, as I was playing around with them, I've underinflated it. And I've tied off. And we're going to have it like this. So you kind of want it balanced. It's never going to be perfect. Um, but that's kind of the design that you want on your base of the Ninja Turtles muzzle. muzzle. Now we're going to take a 350 lime green. We're going to blow it up most of the way. Um, I leave about a hand width at the end uninflated. to give it a little bit of uh, release of air, burp it just a little bit. Um, I'm going to start with a small pinch twist. Now this is what I'm going to use to lock the two together. I'm going to lock it in this uninflated part. Wrap it around once. And then place it back in the middle of the blossom. Now I'm going to follow this by another small pinch twist. Take the nozzle of the blossom, put it between those two, just wrap it around a couple times, place it in. You're going to have the balloon coming upwards. All I do now is come back down, measure. Um, it's probably a good hand. Measure to the pinch twist at the back. That's where I'm going to twist it and I'm going to secure that into that pinch twist. I play with it a couple ways. You can have the, I find I like it just for the look of aesthetics. I like it facing forward. Now this is just the head part. Um, you can do whatever you want for the body. And we're going to do the Ninja Turtle. Whoops, sorry. Um, I'm going to take, I dropped my balloon. Take a red 350. Blow it up most of the way. Give it a good burp. Excuse me. My mom said if I made that noise, I was supposed to say excuse me. Just wrap it around. Pinch twist. Or just a twist. I like to put a little pinch twist in the red. Just so it secures it a little bit. You can be fancy and measure off and have the two be somewhat the same size. Turn that off meter afterwards. And you're basically done. The hardest part with this, I still haven't found a perfect way to secure it so that it's always upright. Um, you usually get a space between the mask and the muzzle. Ninja Turtle. 
You can use a white marker if you wish. I usually don't. Um, just because I haven't found one that's great to work with in lines yet. Two dots for eyes. You can do more. You can uh, have add freckles, add whatever you want. So that's my Ninja Turtle. Um, do whatever color you want. I chose red today. Uh, my favorite Ninja Turtle is the purple one, Donatello. Um, but uh, again, uh, really simple, easy design. You don't have to do more than this if you want. You can put it on a hat um, any way you want. I built Ken Stillman design bo uh, superhero body and put it on the top. So you have the Ninja Turtle. I also want to show you because you can do more with it than just that. I have another balloon here that I just created. Um, it's a dinosaur. Um, same idea. So you have the, the Geo 16 inch blossom here, uninflated. Um, I've used the 350 pink. There's a bubble, there's the same twist at the back. I'll show you the side. This is where it differed. I've split this uh, probably about a three inch bubble before I came around with the rest of it. Um, eyes gave me trouble. I was trying to use eyes with friendly eyes. They just never looked right on it. So this morning we were playing around a little bit and I took a I took a 250, um, made two little loop twists here, and then I did a 250 blue and uh, did two small pinch twists and I have the eye. So again, there's lots of things you can do. Ninja Turtle, a cute little dinosaur. Um, sometimes you don't have to do much more. You can put whatever. I think it would look good as a duck bill too. Um, I just haven't, I don't like the yellows that are out there, um, but have fun with it, uh, play with it. Again, um, thanks for the comments, those of you that have commented. Um, find me on, uh, again, on Halu on Facebook. Um, I appreciate your comments. I hope that you're enjoying the videos. Um, I'm hoping to do them a little more often. I apologize, it's been a while. Um, just need to get the proper space and proper lighting set up so I can do it um, on my own if I have to. Um, but again, uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that's encouraged me to post a few more. Have fun with your Geo Blossoms. Play with different designs. Um, it's Eric Weinstein's one person that I really, really like because he he'll take a balloon. He, he doesn't do a lot of dis he does distort distort a lot of his balloons. But what I like about his a lot of his designs are he'll take a simple balloon like a heart and uh, twist it into different shapes. Um, check his stuff out. Awesome stuff. Uh, very, very much he encouraged me to uh, start playing around with the balloons. Don't use them the traditional way. Uh, try to find new designs. Again, I'm Hal Lou. I uh, hope you had fun with it. Uh, play with your balloons. Show me your designs. Post your, post your dinosaurs. Post your Ninja Turtles down below that you're using with Geos. They don't have to be with the 16-inch uh, Geo. Um, you can definitely use the uh, smaller ones as well. Um, I just think... You know, this looks so much cooler if you have, as opposed to a smaller Geo. Um, it's going to probably add more value to you as a twister. Um, as Mark Verge says, bigger is better. Um, it's just the way it goes. Um, it, I think it's because it's visible and more impress impressive. Find me again at Halu on Facebook, um, Halu on Halu 2000 on Twitter and YouTube. Um, and again, if you want someone to come and do your alleys for clown stuff. Uh, please email me through my website and uh, we'll talk. Um, I, a lot of my stuff is ministry based. Um, and that's it. Have fun. Enjoy. Get out there and do something. Be the best that you can be and then find a way to get better. Bye now.